knowledge and light go together. This institution has been around for over 150 years. We can continue to keep that flame burning. We hope to raise $10 million by 2010 for three fundamental projects. Scholarships, the Integrated Wellness Center, and the National Child Protection Training Center. We have to look at outside resources. The only other alternative is to, is to compromise and to not deliver on our mission. And that's not acceptable to anybody. People have already stepped up with 65% of that goal. Winona State University is a very special place. I think it begins with the community. It's not just about turning out folks who will go into their respective careers. It's about having an impact not only in southeastern Minnesota but throughout the United States. A great collection of faculty, devoted staff, and a phenomenal group of students make very real and noticeable differences in the world. You are giving not just to an institution, you're giving to people who will go on giving in all kinds of ways. Scholarship funds are a huge deal. Every student is looking for them and every parent that has a student in college is looking for them. I think there's a class of students that it's vital for them in order to be able to afford to go to college. Our students can run up possibly $60,000 in debt. Winona State students add a lot to the community and to the regional environment here. And this past summer I was in Zambia, Africa, where we provided medical clinics for uh, many, many kids who have been orphaned due to AIDS. If I didn't have scholarships, I'd be working a lot more hours, and because of that, I wouldn't be able to be as involved in the community and do as much community service as I can. It felt good to give money to the scholarship fund. That's that one light that you just lit uh, for that particular student to be able to come on board. I'm incredibly thankful for the scholarships, and the, the difference that they've made for me has been huge. 